help us make the story tell what they wanted it to tell. And that process has been really wonderful to be able to observe it and watch how it happens. The students have been really engaged with what they've done, and the growers have been generous with their time, generous with their, their knowledge, and so it's just been a privilege to be part of that. So I was able to hire one student to work with me directly, and I'd like to ask Caitlin to stand. Caitlin Nielsen, who is an anthropology major. Stand up. She has been living in, the, in the, the multimedia hub for the last couple of days to get this finished, but all through this past semester, um, she's been really putting a lot of, of her work. She has a lot of skills in editing, and I want her to speak for a, a couple of minutes. Hi, everybody. Um, if you haven't met me, my name is Caitlin Nielsen, and I have to admit, I've probably seen every food documentary that exists at least three times. But I have to admit that this is probably my favorite. <laughs> my bias comes from the fact that so many people participated in the making of this film that I respect and care about. So, mostly what I am excited about tonight is honoring the work that everyone has put into this film and seeing it all as one up on the big screen. One of my personal dreams has always been to make a film that makes farmers look as cool as snowboarders. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we got close. I think we got close. <laughs> so, just thank you, everyone. I do want to thank the 